Hey Libra, what's up and welcome to your February reading. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your love and your support. I appreciate you and I hope that you're having a really great day. We're going to see what messages need to come through for you for the month of February. See what you need to look out for, what you can expect, what are the vibes looking like, what's coming towards you. If this reading was helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below. But yeah, let's get into this Libra. Let's see what's going on for you and what you can expect in the month of February 2024 for Libra. What is going on for Libra? Sun, Moon, Eyes, and Venus. It's 111 as I'm doing your reading, starting off. So a little synchronicity right there. Show me clearly what is going on for Libra. We got the elk. Show me clearly what are the vibes looking like for Libra in February. We also have the crow and the cheetah. Interesting. We also have the sea serpent, the tarantula, eagle at the bottom. Also the black egg. A lot of spirit energy around you. Oh, wow. And even the tiger. You're so supported. You are in alignment. Like, you are exactly where you need to be. But yeah, like, there is some... Um, there's this deep inner calling, Libra, that you have that you will be receiving this month. There's this deep inner knowing that is pushing you in a certain direction and you need to follow it. You need to trust it. You need to believe it. I also just want to pass on the message with the sea serpent. There is like a feminine energy watching over you. Someone over in the, the energetic field. <laughs> They're around you. They're watching out for you, Libra. You're not alone and your angels are around you your loved ones are around you that's the the sea serpent for you so just just want to pass that along but yeah you have a choice to make you're at a crossroad i'm seeing with the tarantula to the eagle you have some sort of decision that you're going to be making whatever path you choose leads to two different outcomes but it is but either path you take your life is going to change quite drastically but you need to follow your truth you need to follow your gut you need to follow what feels right to you in the moment what feels certain you know you may be getting messages through your dreams or maybe messages coming through songs or you know certain things that just pop into your mind out of the blue pay very close attention because i do think you're going to be receiving a lot of downloads from spirit especially with the crow showing out here here. so with the elk as your first card this is the energy of really remaining grounded reliable your endurance like you're just you're standing strong very firm and yeah you're just you're solid like you're very you're very grounded the foundation that you've laid for yourself it is rock solid immovable okay um you are leveling up especially when it comes to your career or your studies or just like in your own personal path in your own personal goals you're really advancing in february there's huge advancement and there's something here with the crow you got this spidey sense you have this like you know magical foresight where you're able to just know things before it happens you're able to just pick up on the energy or just you you're just so tapped into spirit you're so tapped in to your intuition your higher self is speaking so strongly so clearly to you and it's just like as soon as you think of something or you receive a message from spirit and you're like huh i wonder if blah 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 blank 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 dot 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 oh i think that this was gonna happen or i think this boom like instantly with the cheetah it's like it happens or the next day boom like it like you see it before it happens you know it before it's there you feel it before you see it in the physical reality like you're so freaking connected to spirit in february and it, it might even kind of creep you out at times but anyways the cheetah to the the crow you're getting this intuitive push this push to go somewhere this push to do something this push to make something happen but like there's action you're taking so it's gonna be a very busy month for you you're gonna be taking a lot of action getting a lot of things done walking your talk you're gonna be busy very busy all right so let's let's see where this is going for libra in the month of february what can libra expect you know even the way these cards because this is how i'm seeing them i'll turn can you see this is this is what i'm seeing here this was your first card this was the last card so there is maybe something coming up behind you sneaking up behind you if you're just chilling minding your own business focusing on your own lane focusing on your career your money your goals yourself you know providing for yourself your loved ones intuitively 
right? You, you, you got eyes on the back of your head. <laughs> the fact that the crow's behind the elk, it's like the elk, he's looking that way, but he's got eyes on the back of his head. And in the back of his head, his eyes see what? The cheetah. There's something sneaking up behind this elk. That's how I'm seeing the cards on the table. So there, you, <laughs> it's like you got eyes on the back of your head. Maybe you have some sort of like tattoo of an eye on your back or shoulders or neck or something like behind you where it's like you see before things happen that's so wild if you do let me know that's so interesting that's really cool anyways maybe that's an idea that you have show me clearly anyways what's going on for libra any messages for libra in february 2024 we have the fool this is your first card out the fool and the ace of wands at the bottom amazing february here you go you are just on a roll you are going places you are going far above and beyond you're really like some of you you're making a name for yourself is what i heard and the ace of wands it's the ace of wands page of swords and the strength card leo energy something about the full moon in leo that was last month that was the end of uh <laughs> why the fuck i was almost gonna say september what <laughs> oh okay Full moon in Leo, that was at the end of January. There could have been something that came up or an idea that you had by the, like, last last January. Like, re the recent January we just had, like, only a couple weeks ago. You may have had some sort of idea or epiphany or you may have planted some sort of seed or started something back then. And it seems like it's, like, February is where it's really coming to fruition or it's really starting to, like catch fire catching fire oh my god it's like not hunger games oh my gosh no <laughs> not like that but yeah it's like catching fire there's something there's an idea that you have you light that match and then it just it easily just breathes new life new new opportunities it's just like it's a lot it's powerful though it's positive like it's really good so let's see where this is going for libra in february what do we got two of pentacles so now it's time to decide now it's time to weigh some things out temperance also okay no you know what some of y'all there's a there's a choice wait i think i said that with the animal cards um the eagle and the tarantula yeah i did say that there is a little bit of crossroad vibes of like okay what path do i want to take what direction do i want to go down you know you got options you got different different paths you could choose whatever you end up choosing though it's gonna be great it's gonna be awesome i'm also just seeing that this two pentacles you're back you're trying to juggle a lot you're trying to balance a lot there's a lot of things on your plate um there's a lot of new things that you're starting there's a lot <laughs> there's a lot that you're trying to just keep juggling keep it up in the air um but it seems like with temperance at the bottom like you're doing actually a good job temperance and the six of wands you're doing a good job with the juggling but you can't keep juggling for long right you, you can't continue to keep juggling forever. Sooner or later, you're going to have to choose one or you may accidentally fumble and drop one of them. So, you know, you're going to have to get out of this two of pentacles mode. You can't stay in this two of pentacles forever. So just saying, because I am seeing underneath the temperance card and six of wands, which is like, okay, yeah, no, you're keeping your momentum. You're you're really maintaining your balance, maintaining your speed. You're, you're doing quite well for yourself in this situation and being in a two of pentacles state. But you know like i said you can't be in it for long otherwise ten of swords and ten of cups huh some of you there's an ending when it comes to your home life or moving or family or i mean I'm, my eyes were drawn to the children i just heard childhood there's something about Maybe you're being reminded of your childhood or there's something that maybe an ending or a shift that's taking place is reminding you of when childhood ended when you were no longer, you know, a child and how like, damn, like never going to get my childhood back. It's like it's kind of of similar essence where it's just like, wow, like I'm not going to be the same person after this. Like, it's, I don't know. It feels significant, though. But yeah, for some, there is like a new start or a fresh new beginning after some sort of painful ending or loss. Won't be for everybody, but, you know, only for those that have gone through some shit <laughs> recently. But I'm seeing with the Six of Wands and Temperance, like you're back on track and there's recognition and you're really being appreciated for your efforts and what it is that you're doing here. And you're achieving something. There's public recognition. All right, let's go. What's going on for Libra? 
in February. What's going on for Libra in the month of February 2024? We have the Knight of Wands. So again, so you decide, you choose, right? Because I did say that there was some sort of crossroad vibe. So you decide what you want. You decide and you choose and then there you go. You're taking action. It's that cheetah energy going forwards, making moves, making your dreams a reality. You're on a roll. You're unstoppable. You're confident. And we have the magician at the bottom. Temperance again. It's the same. And six of wands again. It's the same cards from earlier. Bro, what? Just the magician on top of that. So it's like this is where you are able to really call in and manifest the reality that you want to live in. You can manifest anything that you want, anything you set your mind to. You are capable of calling that in and living that life seriously straight up so don't underestimate your power and your ability to really call forwards that dream life of yours that dream is a reality it's becoming your reality it's going to take some time it's going to take effort from you and also divine timing energy from spirit but you are on a roll and you're making this happen and you believe it and you, you'll know when the timing's right with the crow to the cheetah. There could be something about timing. You're, li you're listening to that. You're listening to the signs. You're listening to the, your body. You're listening to spirit. Like, you're on track. You're on track, okay? But yeah, you do have diff two, different two different ways you could approach this or two different directions or two different paths that you could take. But whatever you choose, it's going to be good. And you're going to feel very confident about it. So let's keep going. So Libra... What's going on for Libra in February 2024? Messages for Libra in February. Thank you. Six of wands. See that? Six of wands. Success. Recognition. Achievement. You know, there there is some sort of approval that you're getting or like confirmation that you're getting. Um, seven of cups at the bottom. Like, if you're worried that you were making the wrong choice, if you, if you were questioning the path that you're on, like, this is success. Like, you, you chose the right path. Let me see. Maybe if this is dating, <laughs> if you're single, you're looking for love, you may actually have options in love, or you may have a lot of different possible uh, pursuers. Seven of Cups, the Sun, and the Page of Wands. I mean, you know what makes you happy. You know what you want. There's a lot of different things that are going to... Basically, Libra, what I'm seeing in February, there's a lot of different things coming towards you that you're dealing with already at the moment. But there's a lot of different things that fulfill you. There's a lot of different things that are, like that sustain your happiness. There's a lot of different... Yeah, like you have a lot of different things going on that you're juggling, that you're dealing with, but yet you're happy about it or you're choosing to put your focus and your energy on the things that feel good, that make you feel good within yourself that are of good influence like they're really this is what in six of pentacles like there's a nice balance you got this good balance going on eight of wands underneath that like you're just on a roll like you're i don't, I don't know what else you want me to say libra like you're just good good for you i don't know february you're rocking you know why because it's aquarius season you're rocking with the air energy you're rocking with that that vibe you know that language you speak the language of air so it's your season really and if you got any aquarius placements you're extra rocking with this energy like you just know how to ride the waves um the air waves you know like <laughs> like wind wind's kind of almost like air waves yeah you're just catching the breeze it's a breeze it's a, literally february is a breeze for you easy breezy beautiful All right, tell me clearly what's going on for Libra in February 2024. Messages for Libra. We have the King of Pentacles. Seriously, <laughs> I mean, like, amazing. Okay, we have the Five of Wands, Judgment, and Six of Cups. Also, Six Six, seeing some synchronicities that pop up here. So, like, let's see. There's a few things we I'm getting from this. First of all, I'm seeing if you're dealing with, if there's a situation at work here. King of Pentacles, Five of Wands. If there's a situation at work or your money or if you're experiencing some sort of challenge. I wonder what this challenge is. 
there's some sort of challenge that you're experiencing in your physical world. Maybe it's material. Maybe it's just your money. Maybe it's your job. Maybe it's something going on because we do have the Ten of Cups. Maybe it's actually something going on in your home, like where you live, like your physical home. Maybe there's like renovations or some shit you got to do or <laughs> something like that. I don't know. Um, it could be also a relationship here with the lovers. Maybe it's some someone that you're connecting with underneath the lovers, two of cups. Maybe this is some sort of relationship here. Anyways, there. so this could be a couple things, but I'm seeing that there's some sort of challenge here. The King of Pentacles to the Five of Wands. You are being challenged or your stability is being challenged or it's like, can you, can you, hmm, I feel like you're proving yourself or you're, you're proving something, like you're proving something, proving a point or there's kind of like something you have to fight for in a way, but I don't know if that's the right way to put it. Like there are, there are, uh, there's a couple challenges. I'm going to have to look into this five of wands for you. See what this challenge might be. And, but you're going to, whatever this challenge is with this five of wands, because this is a card of conflict. It could be drama. Um, it could be maybe just competition and work, right? Who makes the most sales? <laughs> or if you're trying to look for a new job and applying to places and there's a bunch of competition out there, how do you make yourself stand out? How do you, how are you the chosen one, right? How do you stand out from the crowd? Six of wands. You'll figure that out whatever this challenge is you'll figure that out so we have judgment and then the six of cups because you're going to be doing things differently than how you handle things in the past right you've learned from the past from we look at the six of cups right there's these children but then there's this like kind of grandmother sitting over here she's looking back at these children be like i remember when i was that young or it's like you're looking back at your past self or your younger self um and maybe how you handle situations back then versus how you handle them differently like you, you've definitely changed and you've grown a lot so when you handle conflict or when you handle this these challenges you your approach to it is much different than it used to be um but yeah what is this challenge exactly i mean you're gonna it doesn't really matter because it seems like you're gonna overcome it but i guess this is kind of like what can you expect so if there, it does seem like there's some sort of challenge so let me see what that is Spirit, what is this challenge that Libra may be dealing with in February? Maybe it's just getting along with people. Maybe there's a little bit of bickering or um, struggle with collaboration or struggling with coming to some sort of agreement or, you know, terms and conditions. Let's see, we're talking about the Five of Wands. What are the challenges that Libra might be facing in February? There's like the King of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles to that five of wands. Like you will problem solve. You will problem solve this. You'll solve this problem. Whatever this problem is, you will figure this out. Five of wands. What is the challenge? What is this issue or problem? Eight of Swords, King of Pentacles. Maybe it's just some inner struggle for you. It literally could just be an inner struggle. Here we have the King of Pentacles showing up again. Double confirmation along with the Eight of Swords. Maybe this is just literally a battle between you and your mind. Um, it obviously, whatever this challenge is, it, it has you overthinking a lot. But you need to trust yourself. Let's see. Tell me this Five of Wands. What's this challenge? Oh, shit. Can I get it? Hold on. I gotta move. I gotta move. I gotta move things. Okay, can I get it? <sighs> Queen of Pentacles reverse. Okay, so this is between you and someone else. Hold on. Let me fix my blanket. It's caught under my chair. I gotta stay warm. It's freezing cold. Today, it's freezing cold. Okay, so this is between you and somebody else. Not seeing eye to eye or having two different stances or you and someone aren't quite on the same page here. Or you're being challenged or this queen of pentacles it could be a feminine energy in your life but it's like it's you and someone aren't quite seeing eye to eye or someone isn't being as like giving or as like flexible or as open i feel like this queen of pentacles reverse is playing hard to get playing a little bit of mind games perhaps please tell me more about this five of wands here we have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. Um, so this may be a sibling or family. Tell me about this Five of Wands. What is this challenge between Libra and the situation? Page of Wands. Trying to find a positive solution or trying to find... 
trying to find a way where everybody's happy, right? There's some sort of trade-off. Death at the bottom. Count this five of wands. The challenge is to find the best outcome where everybody wins, where there's a win-win outcome. That's funny because when I, I was prepping this deck, because I used this in Aries reading. I did Aries before I did your reading. And as I was shuffling it before I put it away, I wasn't planning on using this deck. I probably won't use this deck. But the card that flew out before I even started your reading was... And I was I laughed at spirit because I'm like, ha, huh, that's funny. I'm going to do Libra's reading next. And this card, which is Libra, it's your energy. It says, a win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. There's something about eclipse season coming up. That'll be uh, That'll begin in March can't remember the exact date i think it's either 24th or 26th or around then we'll have a full moon eclipse in libra in your sign so this kind of situation might be playing out from now to then this may not just be in february it could also be connected to march just a heads up just saying um yeah i'm, I'm seeing this kind of play out throughout pisces season hangman at the bottom look at this five of wands what's this challenge what is the challenge Two of Pentacles reverse, like inability to decide, inability to make up a mind, make up your mind, or someone's unable to like choose. Um, and remember what I was saying earlier with the two of Pentacles, like you can keep on juggling, 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 but you can't keep juggling for long. Um, there's going to be a moment where you might kind of drop the ball, and literally the two of Pentacles in reverse. What happened? They dropped the ball. <laughs> So this is a this is like a situation where you're kind of caught off guard or there's something that kind of like you're juggling and you're trying to keep everything afloat and you're trying to find the balance and you're doing a good job for the most part. But there's a little a little hiccup that might pop up in February and causes you to kind of lose your balance, lose your cool for a second or two. And it's between you and somebody else. And it's about trying to find some sort of positive solution. In the moment, Eight of Swords, you feel like there is none, but there is. There is. It's just kind of hard to see but it will be overcome so i'm gonna actually clarify this judgment and see like what's the solution to this challenge to this problem what's the challenge what's the solution to this um let me switch i'm gonna use my gold foil for this i feel like you know let's let's use this deck Town of judgment what's the solution to this challenge for libra what's the, what's the advice what's the solution conflict or drama or challenge obstacle it's kind of giving like starting over from scratch but not really like hold on let's just see kind of judgment what's the solution to this problem or to this challenge how do we overcome this obstacle queen of swords reversed How about judgment? What's 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 the solution? Two pentacles. Two pentacles again? What? <laughs> two pentacles again? Look again. Look again. Queen of Swords in the reverse. There's something you need to take a closer look at. There's something here you're overlooking or ignoring. It's a feminine energy here. It's a, it's the same vibe from that Queen of Pentacles reverse. There's someone here who needs to decide what they want. Talk about judgment. What's the solution? Like someone here is being sub sub stubborn. Oh, I can't even speak. Stubborn or set in their ways or being very difficult to work with. Let's see. Eight of Cups. So some of you, the solution is to straight up like take a break, walk away, leave this behind. Four of Swords to the Eight of Cups. In order, the solution is to prioritize your peace and your wellness and either just take a temporary break or permanent, depending on how severe four of swords four of cups four four and the nine of cups there's something that's being overlooked okay four of swords then we have the four of cups and the nine of cups there's something there's it's like here here's the thing it's like are you trying to provide a solution with someone but they don't want to hear it because it's like here either someone's trying to give you a solution and you don't want to hear it or vice versa you're trying to give someone a solution they don't want to hear it it's like it's really weird it's like kind of falling on deaf's ears because it's like there's this offer here here we go and what is this offer it's the fucking <laughs> it's the nine of cups it's like this is what you want this is what you dream of this is the wish for someone this is what's gonna make you happy but someone's just like no i'm not ready for it or then yeah like either you're not ready for this or they're not ready for this or but it's it's <sighs> Nine of Cups and the Devil. 
and the three of pentacles see it, there's there's these complications three of pentacles is the energy of collaboration it comes after the two of pentacles right so that's the next step right is the next step it's either you keep juggling and then you lose your shit to a pentacle where did that two of pentacles reverse go you keep juggling and you either lose your shit and you drop the balls or you progress to the next step three of pentacles it feels like you're unable to progress to the next step because there's something that's getting in the way whether this is like control or like negativity or some sort of like toxicity or i don't know it's like overcomplicating matters and getting in the way of like a wish fulfillment it's a block someone's blocking but that's that's okay what else can you say about the advice knight of wands here we have it again showing up what action is okay because spirit's saying you're gonna have to take some sort of action here some of you like i said some of you actually gotta like leave this behind or like walk away or like offers off the table um the spirit is saying like not of wands like there's some you're gonna have to take some sort of action so what action are you needing to take here what action should libra take in this situation knight of pentacles slow okay okay damn knight of pentacles slow down take your time you'll get to you'll get to the finish line but you're gonna maybe want to slow things down a little bit let me see what else two of wands you might want to reconsider hangman at the bottom you might want to reconsider something libra you might want to reconsider something what are you okay spirit saying you might want to take a second a second third look at this before deciding if you want to progress or or move forwards it's like this is like confirming before you make an order <laughs> online or whatever it says are you do you wish to confirm are you sure you want to continue do you wish to continue down this path <laughs> or on netflix are you still watching <laughs> like yeah it's like do you wish to continue hangman six of cups remember what happened in the past don't forget what happened in the past. Don't forget what you went through underneath Six of Cups. Five of Swords. Ooh, ooh. Okay, just for some of you, the past is a good representation. Or like the past patterns can predict the future. Patterns don't lie. Okay? And it's kind of showing like, hey, remember what happened in the past? Yeah, that could happen again. Lovers, maybe this is some sort of like karmic situation karmic lessons isn't that what the what didn't we have the e yeah eagle this does talk about karma eagle talks about karma so there's some sort of karmic lesson karmic debt or karmic cycle playing out nine of wands and then the world someone has a there's somebody here i don't it's either you Libra, or it's someone that you're dealing with i don't know if it's you because if you're if you're tuning in you probably already pretty woke <laughs> you probably already pretty like aware or like you are in the process of working through your shit right and it seems like there's someone here nine of wands to the world there's someone here who's very guarded or very closed off to to closing out some sort of habit or cycle or this is someone here who almost sees no wrong in their actions or sees like they don't need to do any more work on themselves or like Ten of Wands, they're just overcomplicating things. There's, this is someone who has to let go. Page of Swords, Nine of Swords. This is someone who struggles a lot internally, mentally. Maybe struggles, like, I don't know. This is weird. But this is what I'm seeing here. The Spirit is saying, the action you take is slow down and reconsider. You're going to want to reconsider. Why? All right, I'm going to ask Spirit that, and then I'm going to let you guys go. Um, two of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Why should Libra slow down and reconsider this path? Oh my god, <laughs> that was super loud. Why would Libra want to slow down and reconsider? Why should Libra do that? Ten of Cups. Ace of Swords. Does this make you happy? Like, does this... Is this making you happy? Is this fulfilling you? Six of Cups. Or are you just holding on to the past? 
Does this sustain you? Does this actually, does this make you happy here? Ace of Swords to the Ten of Cups. Are you truly happy here? Is this it? Is this working for you? Is this in alignment with you? Do you feel safe? Do you feel secure? Do you feel trust? Do you feel comfort? Do you feel like, you know, <laughs> those kinds of things you gotta ask yourself? Or are you just holding on based off something that happened in the past? Or holding on to some sort of idea or projection or expectation that has been placed and put on like a pedestal or like i don't know there's some sort of clarity again connected to your past or some sort of like you're needing to see the truth here ace of cups there's emotions as well as magician and then the three of wands hmm so you you could be choosing again uh magician to the ace of cups choosing to follow your heart choosing to follow what feels right right you need to listen to how do you physically feel how do you emotionally feel like in this situation in this environment whatever the fuck right and then then you decide time will tell three of wands time will tell all right it's kind of it's not a waiting game it's just kind of like you're gonna have to just observe you're gonna have to observe what happens next based off yeah, I don't know, Libra. I don't know. There's something you might want to, like, slow down and reconsider or, like, take a closer look at or really ask yourself some of these important questions. Um, yeah, something like that. <laughs> I, I hope this was helpful. Whoever this reading is for, I hope this was helpful. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that this brought you some sort of clarity or guidance on your situation. Um, let me know if it did. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info's in the description box down below, and I'ma let you go, Libra. Have a great day, great night, and I'll catch you in your next reading. Bye.